Hey friends, welcome to Hot News. It's a Friday of love, just for you. I hope you enjoy it. Anyways, today's episode of Hot, why are you going the long way around? I was expecting you to deliver it to me. Oh my gosh, Displate is today's sponsor. If Reese will ever come and deliver the Displate, dope metal prints, you can hear it wobbling with the metal inside because they're amazing, they're awesome. Check them out at the link in the video description, displate.com forward slash UFD tech, they mount with magnets, super easy, barely an inconvenience, and they plant 10 trees for every single displate you order. So, that is awesome. And let's go ahead and talk about today's hot news. First up, we've got some reports that uh, AMD actually isn't doing too poorly. Hmm, you would think that after the confungal of the Radeon 7 and just, uh, you know, their lackluster GPU approaches before Navi, that they wouldn't have been gaining on Nvidia. Well, you would be wrong, my friends. You would be dead wrong because for the first time in five years, in Q2 of 2019, AMD finally surpassed Nvidia in market share. This is before Navi. I could understand people are picking up 5700 and XTs and all that. This happened before that, so it's kind of crazy. AMD increased their GPU shipments by 10% in Q2 increased 10%. And then Nvidia remained flat while Intel decreased 1.4%. And that's where the caveat comes in, my friends. You see, you would think that this is discrete GPU comparisons, but unfortunately, our friends over at John Petty Research are combining both iGPU sales as well as discrete GPUs. But still, an increase of 10% is kind of large when everybody knew discrete GPUs were coming out, as well as new integrated GPUs. So it could possibly be that this explanation comes more as the integration into laptops, potentially, somehow. Unfortunately, just by looking at what's coming out of John Petty Research saying that AMD has increased 10%, there's not a clear indication as to how that happened, because there was literally nothing groundbreaking that happened in Q2 that should have affected the results this much. But now, for the first time since the R9 290X era, AMD has a higher market share than Nvidia, probably not due to discrete GPUs, which only make up about 27% of G, uh, the GPU sales that are accounted for here, and that's even down about 2% from the previous quarter. So people were buying less discrete GPUs in Q2, but that makes sense because people were waiting for Navi to come out. So a lot of it's a mystery to me, my friends, but finally, AMD actually not sucking. And then if you just include consoles, AMD has like the dominant market share in the gaming platforms. If you include PC, PlayStation, and Xbox all in one. What's it Nvidia got? Some ray trace stuff? Who cares? Wow, that looks incredible. You know what else people care about? High-end desktop chips. Specifically talking about Threadripper and Threadripper 3000, which should be coming out shortly. It actually looks like AMD is going to be changing their strategy in regards to the chipsets that they're going to deliver for the high-end desktop chips. And in a move that's actually quite similar to how it's set up on desktop, where you have B450, X470, and X570, or first generation A320, B350, and X370, they're doing the same thing, it appears, with the high-end desktop with TR. X40, TRX80, and WRX80 with each of them providing different um, versions of what you would expect from the chipset, some with different PCI Express channels, some different uh, memory setups. It's probable that the TRX40 will be more comparable to the X570 and then the TRX80 and up would be for the actual flagship, uh, you know, 32 core thread rippers that you're trying to pick up for the mainstream mega uh, editing rigs and processing stations you're building. That's just theory at this point. But you know what's not theory? AMD apparently thinks more highly of itself than it ought to because they have an advertisement video out on their YouTube channel showing off AMD Ryzen Pro processors claiming, at least showing on screen for a brief moment, that they can hit five gigahertz, even though Apparently, there is no Ryzen Pro processor in existence that can hit 5 gigahertz without liquid nitrogen, even on single core. So some people would consider this to be false advertising, and especially after the whole bulldozer lawsuit got settled earlier this week, I'm sure AMD doesn't really want to be paying out any more money. But as of right now, the I mean, the video is still up, so AMD is sticking behind the 5 gigahertz high clock speed claim for their chips, even though literally nobody can do it. And 
Also, because boost clocks on their new Ryzen 3000 chips are also a little wonky. It's, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be able to hit 4.5 gigahertz? Yeah, under what conditions? Because I have a 360 rad on this thing and I freaking can never get the temperatures down enough to make that a possibility. Oh, I have to hit liquid nitrogen? Oh, thanks. Got it now. Thanks, AMD. Intel is actually not doing horribly in the 10 nanometer department anymore. Ice Lake has already begun shipping out with their 10th gen processors. And now they're also shipping out their first 10 nanometers Agilex FPGAs or field programmable arrays, which are programmable processors. Intel is shipping those out now. And you're gonna need all of this newfangled technology of high core count, high fast core count, high super great graphics because my friends, can your PC run Crisis? Okay. Can it run the Crisis remaster that is expected? Because running the original Crisis still actually isn't all that easy for basic machines to do. It actually hasn't aged too poorly in the graphics department, but now with the new Crytek 5.6 engine that Crytek has unveiled with uh, Hunt Showdown, which is their latest game, it appears that there is some indication that a Crisis remaster might be in the pipeline, especially with them showing off certain portions that have been remastered in the new engine. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on there and see if, the, if they're gonna make it happen. Can your PC run Crisis? In case you want to know if your PC can run Gears 5, which is supposed to be coming out, I believe in September, the recommended minimum and ideal specs for the game have been published. I'm actually a little confused by the recommended specs because it says an RX 570 or an RX 5700. Those are not equivalent GPUs. Okay. Weird. And other games coming out. Minecraft Earth is now in beta in five different cities across America. It's the augmented reality game that allows you to build Minecraft stuff IRL and for funsies. And for funsies, robots are gonna take over the world. And part of that, it's going to be aided by Minecraft because Facebook has been training its AI assistant in Minecraft because of its reliable nature. And the sandbox title makes it perfect as a training ground for artificial intelligence. <sighs> Most popular game of all time is gonna lead to our downfall. Just like the simulation. And in case you want new iPhones, Apple's apparently going to be unveiling them September 10th. It looks like they're gonna be offering a few more colors and it's gonna be uh, harking back to the previous big uh, CRT iMacs that they used to offer. Kind of looks cool. Um, I, whatever, as long as the price is fine, which it's not gonna be, and that's gonna suck. But you know what doesn't suck as much anymore? Apple stance on repair shops for the iPhone. Apparently in a big switcheroo giant Uno card, Apple said, hey, we'll actually start shipping parts to third-party repair sites instead of trying to shut them down. This could just be an olive branch so that the other party grabs onto it, they pull them in and slice off their arm to, to actually end the repair business. Make you feel like things are looking up, but in reality, Apple's gonna be cutting you at the knees and removing your business, and you just don't see it yet. You're trusting them. Don't do it. It's also known as a Trojan horse. Speaking of horses, Roach from Witcher 3. Anyways, the Witcher series apparently should likely come out in late October, but likely November 1st is when we're expecting these TV series to drop over on Netflix. Supposedly, there's gonna be eight episodes, and we'll see how it is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And after seeing the first trailer, I was even more excited and I'm going to hesitantly watch it and hopefully enjoy it. If not, you know what? I had a good run with the game. And then my friends, Lee and Lee officially announced this big boy today in case the PC 011 Dynamic wasn't your flavor. Well, now they have the 011 Dynamic XL and clearly we have one we were supposed to have a build already done with it, but we didn't get the parts till earlier this week. And so we haven't had quite enough time to finish the build, but we're gonna be having one on the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic. Dynamic, Reese is grabbing the other thing that I wanted to show. This thing is a beefy monster, can fit basically everything that you could possibly think to fit in a freaking case like this. And, oh, okay. I'm putting it down. Ah. And then they also sent us this. I'm just gonna go in it. What is, I don't need all that. Oh yeah. The distribution block. Look at that, it's gorgeous, it's amazing, fantastic. It's gonna go in this. Anyways, that's officially out today, congrats. And you know what else is out? The future, 
and that's Nike self-lacing shoes, which are now going to be able to be controlled with the Apple Watch in Siri so that you can tell them when to tighten your shoes and when to loosen them. And hopefully it's just a tap on your wrist and then you can take your shoes off. Or you know, you can untie real shoes like a real person. But you know what apparently is real? What was that? Space Command. The United States Space Command, which is to not be confused with the Space Force, nor is it to be confused with the Air Force Space Command, which is the space division of the Air Force. And the Space Force is supposed to be a new branch of the American military. Space Command is supposed to be a defense department portion of Space Watch to make sure that we are defended in space. So President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence have announced the return of Space Command. Space weapons, laser weapons, let's do it. Let's just shoot laser beams down at everybody who opposes uh, our, no. no. Let's not do that. It's bad. Colonel? 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 Colonels? Colonel? Colonels. You know what else is bad? Werewolf kids. Werewolf babies. That's not what you want, is it? No, it's not. But apparently, it's something that happened in Spain because instead of children being given acid reflux medication, they were given Rogaine. I don't know how that got mixed up, but apparently it did, not just for one child, but for several children. 17 babies and children given werewolf syndrome, which just caused hair to grow everywhere. They had adult eyebrows. It's a creepy thing. Apparently it was a mix up in the batches and labeling and it's not a good thing. However, it doesn't appear that there's gonna be many long-term effects. Apparently one of the parents did say that there was liver damage to one of the children, but the doctors don't seem to corroborate that story. So we'll find out. I'm sure there's gonna be a lawsuit about this. You gotta, you gotta sue when people turn your kids into werewolves. I know, I, I would. But I would also wanna keep them as a werewolf because that'd be dope. Not werewolf syndrome, but like actually being able to shapeshift. Wait, no, I'm describing a furry. Cancel that. I don't want my kids to be furries. Anyways, before this gets even more awkward, I'm ending the episode there. Don't forget to check out Displate down below. Displate.com forward slash UFD Tech Official. If my head had a magnet on it, I'd be mounted right now. There it is. Use coupon code UFD to save 15% when you're picking up your displates. They plant 10 trees. You have amazing designs such as this Ninja Turtle one, the Goku behind me, as well as a bajillion other ones that you can choose from, including officially licensed stuff from CD Projekt Red for Cyberpunk 2077. So just go, go, go buy them. Go, 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 go. It's the end of the month. You've been paid. Now go treat yourself a little bit. Get some good decor in your place. And it's the end of the week for me. I'm done with hot news. It's over. I'm, I'm free. I'm finally, oh, that's a bag. I'm finally free. Bye.